Hello guys, this is Dr. Possibility from Excel Academy. Kindly make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and make sure that you register with Excel Academy. In this video, I'm just going to do some examples from exam questions on algebraic loads offsets. So let's quickly get started. And remember, this is our part two. To have access to our part one, make sure that you register with excel academy so the first question is saying simplify as far as possible the set x minus x minus y complement given that the set x and y are disjoint so the first thing that i'm going to do is i need to understand the part where i've been told that x and y are disjoint sets so what does this simply mean so this simply means that you have set x and you also have set y of which set x and y are disjoint set and let's assume that we also have a universal set so set x and set y are disjoint that simply means that there is no intersection set between the two. So after understanding that content, the next thing that I have to do is just to simply work on that. So I have x minus open bracket, x minus y, and then complement. So remember, this minus can be changed to intersection. So we're going to have x, and then what we are going to do is that the minus there will change into an intersection and then the next thing that we are going to have is open bracket x minus y and then that complement now because we have an intersection there after changing this one to that so this intersection will make or will make this expression to have another complement there and you know that a complement times a complement it will surely just give you what it will surely just give you a one so in short what we have now is x intersection open bracket x minus y okay now after understanding this x minus y we can now easily use this venn diagram for us to be able to understand what is x minus y so let's quickly understand x minus y using the Venn diagram. So x minus y using the Venn diagram is that from x we remove y since these are disjoint sets. So the answer is just this particular part which is x. So x minus y in this content is just simply what? It's just simply x. So this means that this expression will be x intersection open bracket x minus y of which we know that x minus y is x so this will be like that so from there our answer you know x intersection x the answer is simply what x so that's our final answer please if you have any question feel free to contact us and make sure that you register with us for more questions and remember this is part two so let's quickly look at the next question simplify the the sets so in this case we have been given that particular set so this set is um, open bracket b minus a and then cross brackets union a complement and then cross bracket so remember the inside part can be changed to b intersection a complement and then cross bracket you can have union a complement so after doing that we can simply use the distributive law so using the distributive law we are going to have open bracket a complement this a complement union this union and then b and then then we have that and then we say intersection that intersection there then we have a complement intersection so a complement 
union okay we are going to pick that union there not an intersection so from there this will be our union a comp a complement okay so that a complement there so in this particular case if you observe what we have done is that um this union is the same union which is there and this union it's also the same one which has also gone there and then this complement is the one which is there then the intersection which is in between there this guy here is the one which has just gone and he found itself in between those so this is how the distributive law works so in case you are behind make sure that you check our lecture notes which um which we gave during our physical classes so make sure that you register with us so from here you can simply have a complement union b and then open or close bracket then you have intersection a complement so if you look at this question a complement union b and then we are saying intersect it with a complement so if we were to assume that a and b are joint sets or they are intersecting sets so let's say we have a diagram like this so this is our universal set this is our b and this is our a so this is set a this is our set b so on how to represent the work or a set in a venn diagram make sure that you check up um our videos where we had to discuss on how to represent sets using the venn diagram so we are going to say a complement union b a complement union b so a complement is just this particular part so this is a complement like that so we have that and then a complement union b so we are just going to add that part to make a union b so in short the yellow guy the yellow guy is just simply representing a complement union b and then let me quickly um illustrate a complement alone so a complement alone is the one i'm now showing in red so this is our a complement so guys if you have problems on how to show sets using the venn diagram you can simply check out our videos on how to show a set using a venn diagram or you can register with us so red is simply a complement okay so if you look at yellow and red where yellow and red are meeting these guys are just meeting where a complement is so that simply means that our final answer here is just simply a complement so a complement was the final answer in this particular question all right guys if you have questions you can leave them in the comment section or you can just simply register with excel academy by whatsapping us on those lines thank you very much for joining me this was dr possibility from excel academy